black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all. It is officially driving glove season. <laughs> we just got dumped on our first dump of the year for snow. Two and a half feet last night. So your boy has got the leathers on, driving glove, got the OJs. <laughs> but uh, she got real out here. Woke up to an absolute disaster zone. However, kind of beautiful, kind of nice, kind of enjoyable. A lot of work though, especially when you got to do mothers and sisters and your own snow removal so your boy has had four hours of snow removal across those three places i've worked up a ridiculous hunger i feel like i haven't had a good ass burger in a while and i was at my mom's house last night uh for dinner a little fam jam dinner and afterwards, I was laying on the couch with, like, the bubble guts. Like, you know when you go for family dinner, you eat too much, you got to get horizontal right away? At least I do. So I'm laying on the couch, and this Wendy's ad keeps playing for this pretzel, bacon, crispy onions, uh, pickles, beer cheese, beer cheese. And uh, it just, every time, even though I was full, I was like, I need to eat that. So, you know... I've burnt the shit out of calories today. I haven't had a good ass burger in a while. Not sure when the last time I had some fast food was. So we're en route to Wendy's. I gotta try this burger. Maybe some chili, maybe a couple something else is on the side. Definitely some something else is on the side. But perhaps I'll show you the winter wonderland that we're uh, existing in here. So let's roll <laughs> and show you some snow banks along the way. So as you may well see here, uh, single snowfall we're already rocking uh these type of snow banks right here the one good thing though you guys is that it's not brutally cold out it's like only minus i think it's like minus 10 right now there's definitely some wind chill i got a guy doing some weird oh he's stuck uh-oh might have to help him see this is what you run into up here upon the north yeah we got a stuck individual Mission achieved, success. That was an older lady. She, uh, I'll talk about it later. Your boy just saved the day, did you see that? <laughs> Nothing crazy. The thing is, uh, what a lot of people don't understand, this is something, this is a tip for you if you ever find yourself in snowy conditions and you get stuck, the best thing you can do is, and a lot of people tend to do this, don't turn your wheels, Your when your wheels are turned, it just jams you in like it doesn't help at all it fucks you up but the best thing to do is try to get a reverse and a run and if you can't get it like say you're kind of stuck in like you can't get a reverse too much or you can just barely get one you got to get a reverse and try to jam it into drive and try to you got to rock the boat right like the motion in the ocean in the hips like when you're hitting it good you know what i mean you try to rock the boat and then in that rocking you might be able to get enough forward momentum that you can get over that like that spin the hump it's uh it's just a crucial thing to know if you're driving in, in winter climates tip for you all right i pull up about to enter the land of milk and honey right now i promise you i'm so hungry i'm so ready for this here it is Advertised right here on this first sign here, the Pretzel Bacon Pub for a limited time only. And we're ready for it. Oh no! More Canuck problems, watch this. She's froze. She's stuck. At least there's nobody in the line. God damn it. 
we're gonna have to do the old open door combo here. <laughs> we're running on the fuck system today, ladies and gents. Let's figure this out. Hi, just a sec. Hello? Hello, just a sec. Yeah, no problem. Can I, can I get the uh, pretzel bacon pub combo? Pretzel bacon pub combo. Yeah, but can I make the fries a chili cheese fries? Now you guys know I'm not usually one to uh, stress on people, but that was a horrific experience. <laughs> Dude tells me one sec. I wait for literally like four minutes. I eventually prompt by saying, hello again? And he goes like, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I forgot. You could order now. <laughs> it's like, what? You know what's probably the truth? I should, here, here's probably the truth. Let's dissect the truth. How much you wanna bet a bunch of people didn't come in for their shift today? They're understaffed and they're over fucked. Even though there's not much business here right now, I bet that's the case. Like I bet it, people were like late getting here to set up and a bunch of people called in or like couldn't make it. And I bet they're severely understaffed <laughs> And severely overfucked, and they probably didn't get uh, they probably didn't get everything set up in time, so they're like they're ill prepared. And I know this because I've dealt with this so many times in my life, working in restaurants and stuff. It's just mise en place, like having everything prepared on time, ready to roll, just puts you in an actual position to succeed. If you don't get that everything ready in time you're you're behind the whole shift like you're always but especially if you know like it's a busier day or you know you're just always behind so that's probably what's happening here so i uh sympathize sometimes we have to think about these things right instead of just getting mad at people even though in the moment i was like why am i waiting four minutes to to uh to be re-prompted to place said order but anyways I'm gonna stay. Yeah, they're having a rough go in there. Confirmed. All right, we we're parked. It's definitely a bad story in there. They're having a time, feel for them. The line got crazy behind me. There was nobody there when I pulled up. There was a couple cars when I turned in front and then the guy in front of me, he had to park and like wait, he was waiting. And then my stuff was like, they're like, it's gonna take a while. And then behind me, it got, started to get crazy. So they're backed up, but anyways, Let's get to the bag. Uh, my hope and prayer for them to get that figured out, but uh, we gotta try this burger, okay? It's been quite the little mission here to get here. <laughs> we already bailed out um, grandmama out of the snow. So that was, uh, you know, adventure time. And uh, then we had a wild Wendy's experience. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, you guys know that this burger was the thing that we came for. Just crazy levels of crave. Something tells me it's going to be made. Not great because they're falling apart in there, but we'll see. Definitely not looking like the picture at all to any degree. Um, but we do have the bacon and the cheese. And those crispy onions so that's legit that's that's a true thing happening and uh and then we have the sauce and the pickles are all placed together which is not chill but we do get four pickles that are uh, a little bit sogged out but we replace them we put them across the board we taste the sauce Tastes like uh, basically kind of like a cheesy, like a cheesy honey mustard. I realize that I'm on on the wrong. I'm not on the fuck. I'm on I'm on the self facing side. I should have this flipped around. Oh well, it is what it is. But uh, it doesn't quite. I don't quite zoom in the same right on this side. It's got this piece of cheese here. I think this is the like a gouda. Mm. It's good. It's sharp. That's pretty good. All right. Tooth is on the mend. We can actually have a bite. Let's do this.
mm, immediate pickle pull. Cheese very, uh, very noticeable, very prevalent, kind of smoky. Definitely could use more sauce. Hence why I asked for a mayo packet. Just in case we run into these problems. Overall, she's a little dry. The complexity of the flavors are not really, I don't know. It's like everything's losing each other in itself. If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. The pickles are good though. Definitely. Bun's nice, very uh, um, hefty, like hearty. But as per the TV crave, when I was laying at my mom's full, but still wanting to eat a burger, it's not living up to that what I had in my mind. I think if they weren't in the shits and it was made uh, a little better, it could be better. But the general idea itself I don't even know if it's working. Bummed me out because I was so excited for a nice, like a real good burger. And all this is doing is making me want to go get a Whopper or like a Big Mac or something. A classic tried, tested, and true Berger. My large diet coke that <laughs> he asked when I ordered, he's like, I'll make it make, like I was medium, <clears throat> medium. Yeah, I'll make it medium. But hey, if you charge me medium and I got a large, then I'm winning. All right, we'll snap into some chili cheese fries. These should be uh, an enjoyable adventure, I feel like. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Those are gonna be good. This is what you're looking for on a snowfall on a cold winter's day. That's definitely what you're looking for, is that nice, excuse me, warm chili cheese fry. This, was, this is gonna be what's up. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. This is winter eating. Wish I had a little, a little sour cream. Oh, we got the sun poking out. Is that gonna screw everything up? Great. Uh, <laughs> angelic, all angelic and shit. 
Mm. Steaming. Steaming. So, one of the funniest... Oh my god, I gotta put my shades on. The funniest observations of... Uh, the best thing about a, a big old snowfall... Is that... All that... Though the roads... Are technically sketchy and bad in a sense... It also improves the roads because it fills all the potholes <laughs> and makes the roads actually smooth for once. Because where I live, our roads are horrendous. The potholes are terrible. absolutely terrible about as terrible as <laughs> shoveling through the when the plow goes by it went by my mom's and it puts up that first like breaker wall of snow but super firm and heavy compact that shit is a bitch the stuff after it, not so bad. Just a light, fluffy driveway shit. But I can't believe that it literally took <coughs> half a day, four hours. To handle it all. all these guys in their trucks with a plow in the front <laughs> and every time they're driving by me I'm just like it, it would take two seconds <laughs> just come come drag that <laughs> come back drag my uh, that plow it'll take literally five minutes help a brother out <laughs> I'll throw you 20 bucks for five minutes of your time. Save me an hour. Had to do a little reverse action to, to mitigate that sun. Holy, that sun was on crucial mode, taking me out. All right, we got this chicken wrap here. I think they gave me the spicy one, even though I didn't ask for spicy. Oh, never mind. It's normal. Okay, cool. <laughs> Looking good. I think it's just like a chicken ranch lettuce guy simple mm -hmm. crispy chicken lettuce cheese ranch a classic standard from the cafeteria back in high school that was my go-to in high school it was a chicken ranch wrap. You could just grab it. It was like 250, three bucks, something like that. Cheap, substantial, on the fly. Tasted good. But the best was it was mobile because that in high school you wanted to maximize your lunch hour because you want to get, like, you want to be have like traveling food. So that you can like go do some dumb shit at lunch or whatever. Usually smoke out. <laughs> but uh, that was my shit. But so many people would eat plates of poutine. It was never my jam. A big plate of poutine. Even though good. I never into it, but I'll say this. My high school calf used to make some of the most banging, fresh, hot off the tray. Chocolate chip cookies. Melt in your mouth. Mm. 
one of the signature dishes. of our lunch lady, Sheila. I still remember her name somehow. It was weird, we had one that we remembered, her name was Sheila. She was the head bitch. And then there was the other one that we just called Blondie, just a blonde lady. How come we didn't know her name? I don't know. All right. Interesting little outing here. <laughs> uh, did not go as planned, right? We had a, a snow, a jam in the snow. We had, uh, you know, a whole kerfuffle or debacle or whatever you want to call it there. The burger, it's a letdown for just in general, I think. Even if it was built well, I think it's not that good. The commercial really sold me, though. I got to say, I, I got duped. But we have to try things to know, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty like the chili cheese fries were definitely what was up. But you know, little adventure, little snow adventure. I had to get some grub in me for my meal today. And uh, yeah, that'll be about it for this one. So until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.